Hey player friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is A Man With The Plans. And we are back in my Aaron Condren Deluxe Monthly Notebook for my budget. And we are gonna do a September weekly check-in for week number three. Three, there we go. I feel like this month is flying by and I can't believe I'm filming this day on the 23rd down here. Um, I can't believe how much has already passed in this month. Um, but I'm really excited for fall and I'm actually pretty happy with how the spending went. So, I always keep track of everything from a day-to-day -day basis for spending over here and then we flip over to the other side and you'll see my budget as well as the weekly page and we'll break that down. But, so this week for me, I do from Monday to Sunday. So this is the 17th through the 23rd and in that time we had one, two, three, and four no spends, which I'm pretty happy about as well. Um, I think my highest, let's look at it, let's look at August for a second and see how I did in terms of no spends then. We got to 13, so I've already beaten August, and let's go ahead and check July, if it's hiding. Um, and July we got to 13 as well, so we are on par to be able to be pretty cost effective for the rest of the month. So I'm pretty proud of that, it's been tough, don't get me wrong, and I've had to say no to some happy hours and some dinners and things, but um, I'm happy with where I'm at and I feel like I'm ready to go for my move. So. Let's go ahead and flip over. We'll look at the budget quickly. If you want to see the full video, we will go ahead and put that up in the description in the cards, as well as for week one and week two, I'll have them as well, if you're curious. So here's my September budget. Obviously, um, for those of you, this is my rent for my new apartment. I move at the end of the month, but I wanted to include it in here, so I was sort of off to the races with that. Um, looking at my budget for the month itself, um, we are pretty close in terms of expenses. Um, so I was trying to be really cognizant of that when I started. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in and I will fill out over here. Let's flip this and then I'll zoom in so you guys can see the week pretty uh, a little bit more closely. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, wonderful. Oh, that is so cool. Sorry, my new camera, I get very excited about it. All right, so the first set of expenses are gonna be for groceries. Now, as I mentioned in my last video for week two, which I will leave up over that way, um, I had spent a ton of money, you can see it right here, um, $114 at Costco. Now, that's a lot, but, and I'm just one person, so a lot of that ended up in my freezer, which means that when I went to Aldi this week, I only really needed like some baby spinach, some of those Laughing Cow cheese wedges, and some brown rice, that was it. So I spent $10.15, um, which is good because between these two months I was getting a little bit close and I think we'll be able to make it work Because week four we should be all right with so I spent ten dollars and and fifteen cents there in terms of miscellaneous spending um, Let's see the things that I had purchased in here for this week included a tripod for my camera um, Which I'm technically going to run through the YouTube expenses, but I want to just put it on there since I paid cash for it um I went to a friend's house which required to park on the street and I needed to use some of the street parking and I also drove down to the office one day and parked because we had a meeting and I didn't want to walk because the weather was pretty miserable this week, I'm not going to lie, it rained probably four out of the five work weekdays, so that was rough. Then I went ahead and got gas in my car and it was the first time I had gotten gas this whole month and I spent $20.24. Um, I thought I was going to be over budget for gas, so for some reason in my head I thought I had gotten it this month, but it looks like I hadn't. So I've got some wiggle room and I have over half a tank, so that should get me to the end of the month, which is nice. Um, other expenses that came in that were sort of planned planned for, that I knew were coming, uh, was that I had to pay for renter's insurance for a new place, um, and that's on a quarterly basis, and I believe the payment was 35 38 and so we'll lump that in the subscriptions category if I can make it work and then the other thing that comes out uh, Twice a month as well is my car payment. It, it's broken up into two monthly payments of I think a hundred and seventy five dollars and 45 cents or 50 cents it, it alternates back and forth And so those were the expenses that I had incurred for this week um, the one cool thing is that I sold my bookcase. I have I had one of those IKEA Calyx bookcases, and I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I have to thank Jody from Life to Organize Chaos. She has an awesome video about how to sell things fast on there, so I'll leave that linked up here if you're curious. It was super easy, um, but I got sixty-five dollars 
for that, which I actually put towards, we'll put towards my desk that I purchased in the miscellaneous category last week, so it'll kind of push that number down, um, which is good. So running the math for this week, this is the lowest spending week we've had, which tends to happen as, you know, you front load your expenses, your rent, and all those other things, and student loans. Now we are at, we only spent two eighty nine. 85 this week so we are right on track in a lot of budget categories um i will say though week four is my move week so there's going to be some bigger things happening in there with my um moving truck that i think should be only around 75 dollars for a move which is not bad um but i want to make sure that all that's taken care of and plus there's like those two or three days of prorated expenses that i need to have so stay tuned for this and then i'll also do a uh, end of month video as well um my october budget will be coming out sometime this week and as always, point my friends, if you have any comments for how I can, you know, cut my budget, you know, find ways to improve or any other cool side hustles, you let me know. I'm always trying to get the most out of my budget, just like all of you are. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and have, leave a comment like I mentioned earlier. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Um, I make new videos every Monday and every Thursday, but there's always usually a smattering um, throughout the week. So if you hit that red bell, note, you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. Alright, well, that's all I've got for this budget check-in. Stay tuned for next week after the move, and then for how we did in September um, in my budget check-in in the week after that. Thanks so much, planner friends. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.